Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. JJ here and I'm here to show you another popular or if not the most popular browser-based drag and drop no-code mobile app builder which is called Flutterflow. If the name sounds familiar, that's because Flutterflow is a no-code tool which is created or founded by an ex-Google engineer and you know Google developed Flutter, which is, you know, one of the uh, popular toolkit for creating beautiful mobile app. So as you know, I already reviewed a lot of no-code mobile app builder already, but I would say that this Flutter flow is the most beautiful or most aesthetically looking mobile app builder that I use and it reflects also to the mobile app that you can create using this tool. So this is their website. You can just go to flutterflow.io and then the, you will be navigated to their landing page. And then as you can see here, you can start for free. So yep, you can use Flutterflow without paying anything or entering your credit card. You can immediately use it by just first signing in or register using your email and then that's it you can try their tool and then create an app the only time you will need to pay or upgrade is if you want to publish it to either google play store or apple app store this is their uh, dashboard once you already signed up and successfully log in, this is where all your application will show, which in my case, I already created one. And here, there's this marketplace, my organization and resources. So let's start with resources. Basically, when you click it, it will show you the, the link for the community, the documentation, the tutorials, videos, and also the Discord link. So you can visit these resources, especially if you want to check something or to read more about the components that you can use in this uh, application. And for the next one is the organization because you can create a mobile app and have it shared to your other colleague. You can uh, work on the same project. And then here is the marketplace. So here in the marketplace, it's not only showing the template that you can use or you can copy into your project. You can also use a component that already been created by the other users from the community. So like the navbar, a QR code reader, even some, you know, buttons and other navigation bars. And even just like, uh, you know, effects, they already have some here. Like when you click this one, the custom codes, you can just copy them and have it. And you can use it in your application for free. So that's how cool this uh, Flutter Flow is. And then let's go to the template apps. I will show you an example of an application that you can create using Flutter Flow. So let's click this hotel. A template so let's click that now here we are you know we can see the details of this application it has three page a splash screen custom number a home page and a detail page and then you have two buttons here one is for viewing live and the other one is for cloning so you can immediately work on it and edit it depending on your liking so let's click the view live. So let's uh, resize it so it will fit in our screen. There you go. This is, this is an example of an application that you can create using Flutterflow. Let's click the sign up. As you can see, there's like this uh, effects on the components like 
on load like on load it's kind of coming from the left or you know slowly fading in so let's do it again so as you can see there there's also there those effects that's one of the things that you can do or you can add to your app using flutter flow those effects and those effects are the first time that i saw in an in a no code mobile app application which makes your application you know more satisfying to use so yeah basically this is one of those example and then let's go back to our project screen or project dashboard let's click the projects so now what i'm going to show you is how you can create a project so to do that you can just click this create new button and then here this is the create project wizard wherein you you will be asked to enter the project name so maybe let's type in the demo application you have the option here which is you can start from a blank canvas or you can just use an existing template so in our case let's try creating from a blank canvas let's click create new and then there's this uh, project setup in this case uh, we can just click next step add firebase maybe we can just actually skip this because we don't want to connect anything yet which we can do later well, let's just press skip there you go this is the canvas so as you can see the layout is kind of similar with the other uh, application that i already reviewed like on the left panel is your components and other settings that you can use for creating your mobile app and then on the right panel is your uh, component properties which you can use to modify how your uh, component behave or appear in the in your mobile application and here at the top uh, top part of your screen is your device orientation so aside from the orientation actually you can select the actual device where you want where you want to try your application you have an option to try it in iphone in a samsung phone and also even in xiaomi and then here you have this tablet you have an ipad as a option different sizes of ipad and then you have this for desktop or for web which is uh, you have an option if we, it will you, you have an option to try it in a MacBook or in a desktop monitor and then here there's project issues notification so this will note if there's a bug in your uh, application and it will explain later what is the reason for that bug and then the important thing here is this button this is the button that you will use if you want to run it or to, you want to test your application. And then, as you can see, this is the component property panel wherein it changed depending on the component that you have selected here in the canvas. So now, uh, I selected the screen. That's why the settings here or the parameters are specifically for setting like the home page the orientation the numbers etc let me uh walk through you first here on the left panel so here this uh highlighted button here is the ui builder basically this is the component section clicking this will show you the elements it is called elements here but basically these are the components that you can drag and drop to the canvas for example a text here or a button you select and drag drag and drop here in the canvas one thing i notice here is this flutter flow 
compared to the other application that I reviewed, offered the most uh, components. As you can see, there's a lot of components here, and it's not only just a number. Some of the components here is so useful and exciting to use, like the chart. You can use chart, a timer, a pin code, a badge, a PDF viewer, HTML view, and also there's this ad banner that you can use to display the ads. So there's a lot actually that uh, you can use here that doesn't exist on other mobile app that we already reviewed, which is kind of cool and make this platter flow superior compared to those uh, tools. So now we're done with the UI builder or the component section. Let's go to the next one, which is the widget tree. So widget tree is basically the layout of your canvas. It is the layout of the component or element in your canvas. So right now we have the home page, and then there's this column where our text and button is uh, located and then also the app bar and the text which is we can change this by clicking it in the canvas and then in the property file here you can just edit it and delete it and replace it with the what what with whatever text you want in our case let's put a word home to indicate that this is our home page so here instead of it says hello hello world maybe we can change it to hello there so this is how you change the text in a text field and then here you can adjust the padding to po to position this uh, text field and then also here this is, are the font settings like the font weight the font size let's make this bigger by changing the font size to maybe 30 and then i would like to change the let's retain the font color to black maybe the button let's change the button maybe instead of button let's change it to click me and then i would like to change the button color instead of blue maybe we can try uh, maybe red and let's click use color there you go click me so that's how you edit a component and then now uh, we're actually we just jump from uh, the widget tree to component but let's proceed with the next one which is the page selector this is where you add a new page or duplicate this existing one so you won't need to start from scratch and then after this uh, page selector is the connect so basically this section is is all about you know connecting your application to a external or third-party data source like uh, Firestore Firebase or if you have like a third-party API, you can use this section. So for example, clicking this will show you the show you that you can create a collection. And then here is your where you can define a variable or your local state, which basically the state that your application will use all throughout this. Uh, while using our application let's click this so maybe let's put a field name of name and then let's save it as the string as the data type so let's click create and then the value is maybe tech prepping so that's how you create a local state or local variable in your application then that's it here is your the api calls this is where you define how you would like to call your uh to call an api so this is the, your clicking it this is a get and then this is a uh, the 
API call name and then this is the method type it can be a get post delete put match depending on the method or an action that you want to do and this is the URL here you can add a header if your API is uh, needing a header to be passed or a parameter or variable so that's how powerful this is and good thing is you can use it for free I'm not even yet a premium customer but as you can see I can already use this API call and you can tie, tie this API call to a function later on you can actually here I believe custom function you can create a custom function here by clicking this create button so here you can create a function and basically a logic which we which can be called by your button for example if you press a button it will pop up something or it will uh, retrieve the value from your local state so that's how you can use this custom function so let's close it uh, let's maybe uh, yes yes close and then let's go back here this is your project media assets basically this is where you upload the asset or like the images the videos that you want to use in your application and then here the last one is the setting so in the setting there's a lot of option here like you can change the theme of your uh, application and then also the project setup for the integration the permission the settings for publishing you can change that here and also the ad map we should know the ad map is used for for monetizing your application so yeah there's a lot of things you can do with flutterflow even your subscription is free so now let's go back to our canvas by clicking this uh ui builder icon now let's say that i would like to test my application what you can do is just Click this uh, icon and then click run. So it will open a new pop up, and usually, what I notice is it takes some time for it's not instant. It will take, as you can see, it will take two to four minutes, which is not that long. Okay, there you go. This is our application as how we test it. So basically, that's it. That's how you run your application. So if you would like to go back, just close this tab. And there you go. Basically, that's uh, how you use Flutterflow. And that's it. This is Flutterflow. And I would say this is the most beautiful and aesthetically looking uh, no-code mobile app builder which is best if you want to create an application that is also beautiful and satisfying to use. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that's it. See you next time. Bye.